guys, Cameron here from Team Bacon Strips with a, uh, another video. Uh, this video is going to be a car discussion video, and it's not going to be a part of any series, so don't really expect to see a lot of these. Um, but yeah, the card we're going to be talking about today is Macro Cosmos. Now, the reason I want to talk about this car is because I side deck it over Dimensional Fissure. Now, my reason for side decking this car over Dimensional Fissure is because it's chainable. And I like that, because I can chain it to their big plays they're about to go off with that revolve around the discard to the graveyard. Um, also, I probably failed to mention what this card does. Basically, when the card resolves, you can special summon one Helios and Primordial Sun from your hander deck. But that's not why you use this card. As long as this card remains face up on the field, all, car all targets that are sent to the graveyard are banished and set, or removed from play. Um, which is basically what the same thing that Dimensional Fissure does, minus the special summoning that Primordial thing, Primordial, whatever. Um, I think, actually, Dimensional Fissure just monsters, and this is both. But yeah. So basically, uh, you, you side this in against like Dark Rolls, Agents, um, but my whole reason for side decking this is because of, um, it's chainable, and that's that's what uh, that's what really sold me on it, because, you know, your opponent goes to make a big play with, uh, we're going we're gonna to target Dark Rolls here, your opponent goes to make a big play with Dark World Dealings, um, which is, I guess they're just going to kind of use it because Drag Beyond didn't really work out too well for them, but yeah, they go ahead and play Dark World Dealings, oh, well, I'll chain this to their discard. Yeah, it would just remove yours too, but you gotta think, Dark Rolls need to send stuff to the grave from their hand, so it's gonna hurt them more than it's gonna hurt me. You know, I'll just send this card from my hand that I don't need right now, you know, whatever the card is. And um, really, and, and, and I guess that's not the main reason, but another thing is, um, you have to play Dimensional per, uh, Fissure from your hand, unlike this where you can set it, and you can just lie dormant. Um, and they're, they're more bound to hit the face, uh, the face up D figure with the MST, or a Heavy Storm, than they are to hit the set. I mean, yeah, people like to blind fire, um, you know, on face downs with MST, but you gotta think, it's more, you're more, they're more prevalent to hit the face up D figure than they are to hit this face down card. It's just, the, the odds are, are more against them hitting the face up one this one, because, I mean, you gotta think about your po your opponent plays this card, um, face up this turn is going to ruin their game. Yeah, they're going to hit that with MST before they hit this face down card. So that's why I like it a lot more. I mean, yeah, it can still be stopped by MST, but there's a, it's a, the odds are better. The odds are a little more against, are a little, are a little more in favor of me than it is the person that's playing dimensional pitch. But, um, yeah, anyway, it's, it's all opinion based, really, and, and I prefer this over that card, so. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll let you guys get your own opinion of the card. You know, try it out. It wouldn't hurt. I like this card in my side deck. No, my main deck. I'm not running Macro Monarchs or Macro or whatever the hell the deck's called. Back in my day, it was Macro Monarchs. But, uh, yeah. I guess that's, I guess I'm pretty much rambling on now. But, yeah. So, uh, comment, guys, and all that good stuff. And we'll, I'll see you guys later.